Hey y'all, it's me, Vegan Granny, back with another video. Y'all like my phone? I think it matches my, um, my Grateful Dead shirt. Um, I gotta be kind of quiet because, uh, hubby is taking a nap. Before he goes to work, and I don't want to be all loud like I usually do because I don't want to wake him up. Um, but I want to make this video. Y'all see my onion growing back there? <laughs> this is my new thing. Like, I'm just trying to grow stuff and eat some of my own stuff that I'm growing. That sweet potato, I'm trying to get it to flower. Is any of you have been successful with that can you let me know um it is rooting it does have roots but i wanted you know the flowers to come out of it like i saw some other people but anyway i digress i said i wasn't gonna make no more videos about leticia brown but i lied y'all i lied <laughs> but this video is not about her and it's not to be mean spirited but I saw one of her videos, and I was just really concerned. Like, I want to talk about dating as a single mother with small children. Now, I can talk about this because um, I was once a single mother with small kids. Like, me and my first husband um, got a divorce. My kids are his children. So, after I got a divorce, you know, I was still young. So, of course, I wanted to um, date. But I never, um, like, I, of course, would tell the guys, you know, I have kids or whatever. I never lied and said I didn't have any kids. I, you know, told them I had kids. But you wasn't going to meet my kids until I got to know you and know who you were as a person did I introduce you to my children. And I saw a video of Leticia's yesterday, and I guess she met a guy at the post office, and it seems like the first date she went on, she took her daughter. And I just think that single moms, it's too many crazy people out here for us well y'all because I'm married and I don't have any small children anymore for y'all to be introducing your children to men when you first meet them like it's some crazy men out here that's looking for women with young daughters so that they can do God knows what to their kids I mean a man out here in the Bay Area just recently killed his own baby. Hit her, I think while mama was out shopping or something, hit his own baby and killed her. There are men on the internet looking for women with small kids so they can get to your daughters and rape them and hurt them and molest them. Why would you take your child on a date with a man that you just met. Like, that kind of stuff just scares me. I mean, it's crazy women out here too. Trust me, it's some crazy women out here. But I would never, ever take my daughter on a date. I'm going to tell you, me and my husband been together. We just been together five years. Um... My granddaughter will be eight in November. She did not go out on a date with us. I never took her anywhere with me and my husband. Not it. I knew my husband's family. I've been knowing my husband since we were 17 years old. But I wasn't going to just bring my granddaughter around him you no. My grandbaby didn't start hanging out with us until my relationship with 
my husband was solid until I knew, okay, this real, you know, we moving towards marriage, you know, now it's, you know, I started to um, bring her around him more. She didn't start calling him Papa until, I don't think until after we were married. It was official. Okay, this is Granny and Papa. Officially, that is Papa because Granny is married to him. And plus her, my ex-husband passed away. So, you know, her real, her biological papa is not here. But Amani has been knowing my husband since she was two years old. That's the only papa she will ever know is my husband. But we weren't doing that until I knew for sure that was my husband. You know, I just... Come on, women, we got to be a little bit more careful with our children. And I'm not beating her down. You know, I just wish that someone that was more mature or wasn't as naive about men or had um, better life experience could get to her and just really talk to her. Because having your young daughter around men that you don't know, that is one of the scariest things that you could ever put your child through. And you just don't want your child thinking that your door is a revolving door for men. Because when she grows up, she'll do the same thing. She's going to do what she see you doing. And it's, it's just sad. So, I'm cooking, child. My husband loves potatoes because potatoes are about the only vegetable that, you know, we eat that's cooked. Almost everything else is raw. Sweet potatoes, white potatoes is about the only thing that, you know, in our meal that will be cooked. So I'm making some because he likes to make a burrito with um, potatoes and onions and mushrooms. And I don't know if he puts the spinach in there or he eats that on the side but anyway that's his thing so I'm making that um, for him to take for his lunch so continue to send your prayers out um, to the families of the Oakland Fire because the death toll I think is up to 25 or 24 as of this morning and they have only been able to search 20% of the building. So please continue to keep them in your prayers. Continue to lift up Letitia Brown in your prayers. This is not um, a video where I'm making fun of her. I actually like the lady. Um, so I'm, you know, wishing nothing but the best for her because I know the only thing she really wants is love. That's that's what she wants. She wants her husband and she wants to be loved. So I'm praying for her. Lift her up in prayer. You know, keep her daughter, her kids in prayer. Um, if I offended her, I'm sorry. But I meant everything I said. But if you were offended in that real teaching, I'm sorry. But you need to really think about that and think about everything I said. Because what I told you was the truth. If it made you mad, sometimes the truth hurts. Um, that's how my mama used to give it to me. She used to give me the truth. If it hurt me, she'd give me a little bit of honey or some sugar, a piece of candy. Or, you know, like she'd give me that medicine. The medicine was nasty. She'd give me a little bit of orange juice after that. So I spit the truth. If it hurts you, I'm sorry. Here is a virtual hug. Take that and grow with it. If you want me to send you some candy, I will. Give me your address. I'll be more than happy to send you some candy or send you a nice little note handwritten by me. If you need anything, let me know. I'm going because I'm rambling and all this hand movements and all that stuff is just me when I get silly and don't know what else to say. Let me go check on my potatoes because they smelling really, really good. Oh, and if you have any advice about my sweet potato, let me know that in the comments. I love y'all and I will talk to y'all later.
Banner. 